Hey guys, welcome back to Minute on the Mountain. We're getting out today for a shed hunt and my favorite spot to go. I've got my friends Steve and Michael with me and so between the three of us, hopefully stumble on some sheds. Thanks for coming along. We are at the very top. That's looking to the south. And that's looking back out over Bear Lake. What an incredible view and what an incredible day. I was afraid Michael and Steve were ahead of me, but actually I'm a little bit ahead of them. So they're still working their way up. I'm gonna wait up here on the top for them and then we're gonna work the top together. No shed so far for any of us. That's just crazy, man. I've always found sheds over here. I mean, we still will, but I just think there's more people doing it than ever. And I've only been doing it for like five years now. So, you know, I'm one of those guys that didn't used to do it. So I'm not complaining, but it, it definitely makes it harder to find. What a pretty day though. Get a little water and a snack up here and wait for these guys. Michael and Steve are kind of right on the edge of the top. Do what? Oh, nice. So did I, I just sent you a picture. Anyway, Michael just said he found one up there, so praise God for that. And I just walked up on this Jurassic shed. Holy cow. This thing is ancient. I'm not even going to take it off the mountain. It's just falling apart. But we didn't get skunked. I found something, and Michael found one. So when we connect back up on the top, I'll get a picture of his. Just keep crossing all these boulder fields. Still can't believe I found that shed or what was left of it right in the middle of one of these. They are a pain. At least it's dry today. When it's wet, this is brutally slick. So thankfully today it's dry. I'm just side hilling all the way across the ridge. Again, Michael and Steve are up on the top there, maybe 80, 100 yards above me. So I just found that one base of an ancient shed and Michael found a little two point that looks like either a brownie or a hard white. So we didn't get skunked and hopefully we can find a few more. Just finished crossing boulder field number 57. <laughs> Actually, I don't, I'm just goofing, I don't know how many it is, but it's a bunch. If I don't see another rock for a year, it'll be too soon. Just working north, we're almost to the end of this ridge. Then we're gonna start working our way down. Michael's found one more. Sent me a picture of it, looks like a chalky three point. So we're slowly but surely adding to the total. Work these mahoganies up here. I found quite a few in this little area in the past, so maybe it'll be lucky for us today. The hunt for the ancient sheds continues. I didn't think I could find anything older than the last one but I just did. Oh, look, that was cool, man. That would have been a cool antler back in the day. He had double brow tines. But that's the base of an ancient, ancient shed. Oh, that's too bad, man. That would have been cool. We're gonna leave him here. All right, so I just caught back up with these guys. Now, don't be jealous. Before we show this off, show them, Steve. Boom! Trophy of the day. That's probably this year, though. Last brown, year, maybe. I think yeah. it's brownie, yeah. Nice, and Michael got two. We'll look at them when we get down to the car. And I didn't bring either of mine off the mountain. The two I found are older than I am. <laughs> but hey, nobody got skunked. Praise the Lord for that. Yep. There were the keepers. Linear inch per mile hike is probably not very good today. <laughs> but uh, Michael found the, the two two points. I thought from the picture he sent me it was a three point. So I just looked at the picture wrong. And then Steve found the, found the spike, and I left my two bases on the mountain. Hi, I'm Michael Pate, uh, and this is Minute on the Mountain. And uh, today's verse comes from Matthew 5, uh, verse 21. Uh, you have heard that it was said to the people long ago, you shall not murder, and anyone who murders will be subject to judgment. 
But I tell you that anyone who is angry with a brother or sister will be subject to judgment again. Anyone who says to a brother or sister, Raka, is answerable to court. And anyone who says, you fool, will be in danger of the fire of hell. Verses 21 through 22. Back a while ago, when I, uh, I would say, we did a men's retreat, and uh, one of the things that stood out to me was the idea of being a believer, but not a necessarily a follower. So when I was came back into church with my wife we were just married we went to a small group uh, Sunday school class and this verse came up and it Holy Spirit spoke to me and it was really clear that I needed to do some forgiveness with some family members and that's really what started my path back on with with Christ and following him uh, I would just say I was convicted that if I had a brother who my dad was a, a follower and I was angry towards him I needed to forgive him and start reconciliation. Uh, it's a very important thing, uh, and uh, ha holding the, that resentment would, would have been a bitter root, and it would have festered, and uh, it would have uh, ruined a lot of relationships uh, future on with my daughters, with him, as well as other people. So, I just wanted to encourage you if you've got uh, feelings of resentment or you've been uh, di faced a difficult situation with family. Um, uh, do, do what you're called to do, and in Christ we are to forgive just as Christ has forgiven us. Uh, I just wanted to encourage you because uh, those things will, will, will eat at you. Thank you. All right, thanks, man. I love getting other guys on to do the actual Minute on the Mountain anytime I can. Maybe we'll talk Steve into doing it next time we're out. Thanks for coming along. God bless you guys. We'll see you the next time we're out on the mountain.